Hey guys, it's your old pal one Mikey 19 here, back with another review for you all, this time from Cartoon Network. Firstly, I would like to say that Cartoon Network is one of the best kids networks right now when it comes to children's entertainment. We Bear Bears, Steven Universe, and Over the Garden Wall are prime examples of what this channel is capable of doing. Regarding this particular show, this is probably the funniest cartoon show I've seen in a long while. And I mean long while. It revolves about three anthropomorphic bears who try to blend in with human society. We have Grizz, the leader of the trio and the oldest, who is a loud and enthusiastic character who has a lot of heart. What I like about him is that he shows pure and genuine care for his friends. On top of his humorous love for everything. Sure, he is comical most of the time, but his character shines brightest when he asks questions in worry and concern. Are they bullying you and are we in the way of you making friends are some examples of his secure kindness when he isn't loudly speaking. Next, we have Panda, who is the middle sibling. Panda is very shy and to himself and is in most cases the voice of reason. He often spends his time on his phone for he is obsessed with social media. Panda is also very, very silly. He is the most childish out of the group and is treated like the youngest a good portion of the time. He is the sweet one and his innocent and shy nature towards things make him the most adorable. Plus, a lot of people can relate to his love of manga and online dating. He is a surprisingly realistic character. Finally, we have Ice Bear, the youngest. Ice Bear is the odd one of the bunch, speaking in a monotone voice and exclusively in third person. Now, when it comes to shows like this, there is always the odd one. Most of the time, cartoon shows make this character outright random or stupid, but with Ice Bear, as far as these characters go, got it out of the park. Ice Bear is silent, sure, but he is, he is also very caring with his friends, much like Grizz. Also, while he doesn't show that much emotion in his words, he does feel emotions. There are scenes where he is downright angry and scenes where he has a giant smile on his face. He is in a weird funny statue. There is room for a lot of character development in him as well as the two others. What this show does right is combining humor and emotion into one. What's great about Wee Bear Bears is that it would never try to make you laugh. It just does it. The humor flows, flows so smoothly and is clean of any bathroom humor and jokes about body secretion. A lot of shows nowadays tend to think the passing gas and nauseously stupid characters are funny. <coughs> Sanjay and Craig, <coughs> breadwinners, <coughs> which is only correct if they're talking about toddlers. This show has none of that. It makes you laugh without it being in your face and it has my utmost respect for that. The show can also be emotional. One episode making me fervently gasp as one character hit another. A particularly sad episode was Burrito, which had a very emotional ending, which will not be spoiled here. Finally, I can't forget about the animation. They did everything right. The humans in this show aren't cooking cutter designs, even if they are in the background. We see curvy women, people with freckles, foreigners, and even women who wear hijabs. Even the sub-character Chloe is Korean. I haven't seen a show this broad in characters in a while, besides Steven Universe, which also hit a home run with this. To sum this review up, We Bear Bears is a great animated show I totally recommend. Only 18 episodes are out so far, but they are great. So watch this show. You'll love it. Until next time, I'm one Mikey 19 and I'm signing out. Makes a guy realize. Yeah, Wanna buy you flowers and